with the birds that are already out there, the first release of this season and the second season, it means that we're going to have 20 chuffs flying around Kent and Dover, which is just amazing. And they're regularly flying um, around the Dover area and also at Dover Castle, which is a, a regular sort of hotspot for them. There's lots of places for them to forage and feed. The really amazing news for this project uh, and what a milestone that we didn't think we'd hit this early is the fact that we've had our first wild nest uh, out in, in Dover. They built the nest, they laid eggs, the female incubated the eggs, and we had a chick. It's so amazing that we've got to this stage already. And that's what's key for this project progressing is that we'll be releasing birds so that the population can grow. But at the same time, we want that population to start forming bonds and pairs themselves, going off in the wild, building nests and breeding for themselves. Despite the fact that nature is really struggling at the moment, we're demonstrating that there is still room for recovery and for returning missing species into our landscapes. But it's getting the habitat right, it's returning conservation grazing, that's creating the space, the habitat and the place for these birds to come back into a landscape they would have been in 300 years ago. We are working in the wild, we're working with Mother Nature where anything happens and it will be ups and downs each season, each year is going to be different and that's why we need to keep releasing these birds and then by the time we finish with our releases we hopefully will have pairs out there breeding by themselves and looking after themselves in Kent.